This morning when I woke up, I asked myself, what would bring me joy today? What sounds fun to me? Whether that's playing dress up or climbing a tree or just being silly and, you know, playing around with an instrument. I feel like many of us are looking for external sources to tell us how to be happy and bring us joy. You know, we're constantly being fed media telling us to read this book or to do this morning ritual or whatever, but you really have to be the person to hype yourself up, especially right now, you know? You know when you're around little kids and they're bored or they're sad and you just come up with one imaginative idea like, hey, let's go build a fort or hey, do you want to have like a dance party? And their eyes light up because suddenly a whole world of possibilities is open to them. Well, we kind of have to do that to ourselves every day, you know? So if you're sitting there kind of sad or bored or whatever, ask yourself, how can I have fun right now? Yeah, the grapes are falling. <laughs> grapes are so right now, I'm <laughs> right now I'm in the bathtub with my mom, taking selfies, what? And the dog. The Even if it's something silly or other people will think you're being dumb or whatever, so even though this vlog was obviously before the whole coronavirus situation, I didn't want to just throw it away because while I was looking at these, I saw how much fun I was having just because I was allowing myself space to feel joy, you know, through the simplest things. So hope that it can bring you some joy. <laughs> Where's Rock? Rocky! I convinced my mom to put these grapes on her head for a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. And it's not even the good color. She even got the good color. No, they what if we did our duet in here? You want to sing too? Okay, I know. Wow. He wants me to get out of the bathroom. Okay, a minute. We're going to sing a song. Hey you guys, it's Shayna editing. I just wanted to officially welcome you guys to mine and my mom's bathroom concert. Woo! Say woo. Um, so yeah, if you guys don't want to listen to us sing for the next three, four minutes, skip ahead. But if you do, enjoy the show. What are we gonna sing? What about Lean On Me? No, we should do You Are My Sunshine. You Are My Sunshine? I like that song. Oh, okay. Can you put the grace back on your head? <laughs> okay. If you'll do my song, I'll wear okay. the grace. Okay, I'm ready. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, while I was sleeping, I dreamed of sunshine for the rest of the now let's let's, no, let's I don't remember the rest of it. Lean on me is our specialty. Okay. okay. Some times in no, 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 but if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. Lean on me. <laughs> We're we have to start over it. This is all bad. All bad. And then these really little pink penis start coming out and you're singing. Oh my god. Dude, I thought that we were good at that song, but I don't know. I don't think we are. Do you think it's me? No, it's not you. It's that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think we could do You Are My Sunshine again, but I think that we should do it better than the first time. <laughs> you are my sunshine. Okay. Alright. Okay. Just casually in the tub. Here we are casual in the tub. Do I have to put the grapes back on? I think we should. Alright. 
grapes. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, while I was sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms. But when I woke, dear, I was mistaken, and I hung my head and I cried. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. <laughs> oh. Do you know that we're going to look back at this like, well, I was going to say 40 years from now. No. I'm going to be 101. <laughs> Foot five. Can you give me foot five? No, with your foot. No, my foot's holding my body up. <laughs> if I picked up my foot, my butt would go down the drain. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for listening to our duet. Hey. I can't get my tiny. I'm not helping you. Well. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. All right. Hey, on three. You have to pull. No. I'm not kidding. Welcome back to my channel. So right now I'm in Florida I'm visiting my family. I'm in my hometown and as you can see it's just So beautiful here and sunny. I definitely really needed that like for my heart Because like winters in Paris are really hard for me because it's gray all day and as somebody who's like from the south it's so nice de pouvoir uh, juste profiter du soleil et oui moi j'étais pas sûre si j'allais vlogger cette um, cette uh, vacances parce que je voulais profiter uh, un maximum mais je sais pas il y a quelque chose pour propos de rentrer chez soi voir sa famille et vraiment um, juste dans le sud qui est tellement um, he fit that more show cure and that's so wholesome that I just had to film some of it so I don't know what this vlog is gonna end up being like um, definitely a lot of sun but I might just kind of like film little special moments you know like it might not be like so structured but I hope that you guys can enjoy it anyway so right now I'm in Sanford this is kind of like the last city that I lived in um, it's actually more of like a little town it's so cute I'm staying with my sister and my brother-in-law they just had a baby so it's lived in so nice just like spending time with them and yeah today I'm just out kind of laying in the sun and visiting like all my old kind of favorite stomping grounds and stuff so I've been using this like long board because I don't have a car but I've just been having the best time ever and yeah si vous êtes français vous avez envie de voir un peu d'où est-ce que je viens de Floride etc Another thing that is so nice about being here, and I definitely don't want to shit on anybody from France, but like people in the south of the US are just so kind, and I'm just, it's so nice being around like sweet customer service. Like I had to go to the post office to send some packages for my vintage shop, and the old man at the post office, he was like, hello ma'am, how's your day? Like so kind, and it just like warms my heart, like wholesome Florida. Uh, I just, it's just so nice to be here to like recharge and yeah of course I still love Paris there's a lot of like obviously both places have 
amazing kind of things about them but it's just nice to kind of have a few weeks break and yeah Alex couldn't come with me because he has to work unfortunately so this is a little bit of a solo trip but yeah I'm so really grateful to be able to come and spend time with my family so this is a love letter to Florida Donc ça c'est le premier euh, un meuble euh, que j'ai jamais habité. Quand j'avais 18 ans, euh, j'ai déménagé et c'est ici où j'habitais. Et j'ai trop de bons souvenirs ici parce que genre j'avais 18 ans, euh, j'étais libre et, et, et je me rappelle une fois euh, <rire> mon frère et moi on était hyper bourrés et on a sauté de la piscine avec tous nos vêtements. Donc à chaque fois que je viens ici, j'adore euh, passer voir. Euh, un peu où j'habitais avant. So long. Hey you guys, so right now I'm just sitting in some random people's yard and yeah, I did a lot today. I went to this art. Fuck! Yeah, I did a lot today. I went to this art gallery and I just took my little longboard around everywhere. Comme ça fait quand même euh, deux ans que je suis pas retournée en Floride. Il euh, y a quelque chose de très bizarre qui se passe et c'est euh, en fait des choses avant qui m'a pas euh, apparu comme euh, quelque chose de unique ou spécial. Ben maintenant. Uh, so my mark on it like before I wouldn't think like a stop sign or like a 7-eleven was like beautiful but now like returning and like seeing these like the colors or like even like small things like how the light makes the colors here so much more vibrant all that is so much more beautiful to me because it just it's so different and like yeah so that's been just like really special to rediscover these places and like all like the beauty of like my home country I guess. Faites moi aussi si vous aussi vous habitez loin du pays d'où vous venez et si vous avez cette même expérience quand vous rentrez chez vous c'est vraiment un truc de dingue quoi genre jamais j'aurais pensé que genre en 7-Eleven ou genre en a stop sign would be like a big beautiful thing to me but yeah life is magical man all right let's go home. I'm calling out for hope Cause now I go back on the road I'm alone again And I know I've been told You play, you fall Get up and go Go get it while you can Who's me? Oh! Who's me? I'm trying to take it off Come here, man 
Mom, can you tell us what you're making? No big cookies. Can you explain what these are for people who might not know? These are cookies. Oh no, sorry, in French. I'm just kidding. Oh man. <laughs> Les cookies. Les cookies. Chocolat. Mm, chocolat, no bake. <laughs> Sugar, mm -hmm. cocoa, butter, milk, vanilla, oatmeal, and peanut butter. And they're delicious. When we were kids, we would make these all the time. Right, mom? That's right. Because they're quick and they're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really helping you that much. <laughs> is, is Shana excited about no big cookies? I'd say so. Then you got the milk. Then you got the butter. Then you got the milk. Then you got the butter. And you got the milk. Then you got the butter. And you got the milk. And you got the butter. Butter, 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 butter. Butter, 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 butter. butter. <laughs> Do me a favor and get a bowl out. Just like a cereal bowl. Okay. And take this and measure out three cups of oatmeal. What was your favorite dessert growing up? Cookie dough or ice cream, one or the other. Ice cream with chocolate syrup was always good. I love that. The grandma like regular how much you guys like sugar you guys had and stuff? No. Really? Really. I think it's because like when she was younger it didn't have much so she tried to... She made desserts for every meal. You get pies or cakes or cookies or you know some kind of dessert for every meal. Pudding. That's good. So explain what you're doing for us. I'm melting <laughs> the butter and the milk and the sugar and the cocoa together. See you're a natural at this. And once it comes to a boil... <laughs> I have to let it boil for a whole minute. Yeah, then and I then add, what? Then I add the peanut butter and the vanilla and the oatmeal and I stir it up really good. And then I just drop it out on the wax paper and it sets. <laughs> Alex calls these the alien cookies. He says they're too much sugar. Yeah, he says, c'est trop sucré. You know how to say peanut butter in French? Peanut butter. No. <laughs> Beurre de cacahuète. Beurre de cacahuète. <laughs> That's a lot of peanut butter. Okay. And then we gotta dump the oatmeal in. Oatmeal. So basically they're like oatmeal and chocolate and peanut butter cookies. And then you don't have to put them in the oven, they set by themselves because of the heat. So should I dump it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Stir, baby, stir. Disco Inferno. I shouldn't have eaten that brownie earlier. <gasps> wow. We're already wanting to set. It only took like what, 15 minutes to make these? Yeah. They're really fast and they're really good. And we can say that they're medicinal. They have medical properties. Because the oatmeal? Yeah, and the peanut butter is protein. And chocolate, it's good for the heart. It's true, medicinal. Well, how about that, kids? Medicinal cookies. Passed down for generations. <laughs> All right, let's try these cookies. Mmm, so good. Alien cookies. Alien cookies. <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys so that is the end of this florida vlog um i hadn't filmed an outro so i just wanted to hop on here and say thank you guys for watching i hope that you're doing well during these crazy times don't forget to follow me on instagram if you want to catch up with what i'm doing on the daily i do a lot of lives and things and um if you want to support what i'm doing you can support me on patreon i do a lot of podcasts on there and things like that extra content uh, what else yeah so these were like my 
vacation vlogs from about like a month ago so I just wanted to post those like I said because I didn't want to just throw them away but from now on from like here on out I'm gonna be doing like um, kind of confinement videos and things like that so make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon I love you bye